What's up guys, welcome back to another video. This week we are going to talk about Demon Slayer Himetsu no Yaiba. Oh, I am so blown away right now. I'm just so, <laughs> so blown away. I just sat through 10 episodes of Demon Slayer and I cannot believe what I just saw. It's fucking amazing. So if you guys are not familiar with this, I'm deeply ashamed of you, but Demon Slayer is mm. about a boy who loses his family to demons and he becomes a Demon Slayer. The story is about how he has this journey to turn his little sister, Nezuko, back into a human. Mm -hmm. She got turned into a demon yes, there's, from that attack. There's a tragic history here. His whole family gets slaughtered by a demon. His sister happens to live on as a demon, mm -hmm. hence the mission to turn her back to human. So we follow Tanjiro from his journey training in the mountains with mm -hmm. Uroko Daki mm -hmm. uh, to become a demon slayer all the way to wherever the anime is now, he's now facing, you know, some pretty bad people, some like powerful demons. It's an awesome anime. It's one of the best animes I have seen to date, to be quite honest with you. Wow. There's, there's a couple of things that I want to get straight to. And if you guys, if this is the first time you're checking us out, please leave a like, subscribe, all of that cool stuff help us out. Demon Slayer is more than just a cool title. The first thing that jumped out to me was UFO table, UFO table, how do you yeah. pronounce it? UFO, UFO table. table. Oh, reminds me of animes that I love, such as the Fate Night series. Every time I see that studio's name, I get excited because I know they're gonna bring it. And the animation yeah. was the first thing that I noticed in this show. It was just so awesome, so breathtaking, so magical. I loved every frame. It has a very unique style to it. The art direction mm -hmm. and the art style itself, it's got this brush stroke inky type mm. of like painting yes feeling to it or like a painting motif where all of the strokes you see in like the animated uh, faces and, and right. just the art style in general just has like these calligraphic like that's a good angled, word to use it's got the, like the brush strokes <laughs> and it's stuff. got the very uh, calligraphy like um style to it very unique on its own the last time i saw something like that or not not like it, but closely closely tied to it, that visual style was Samurai Shampoo. If you mm. guys have seen that, you know exactly what I'm talking that about. That is a very similar style indeed. And it's it's got this complementary nature to the way they're also portraying the fights too, because mm -hmm. the, the skills and the abilities, the moves that he uses, particularly the water breathing, Mizu no Kokyu, right. mm -hmm. is it like complements brush stroke ink motifs where Ooh, the yeah. water forms like swirl around and then you, the the scents that he's smelling mm. too it just all like formulates as like squiggly that's also lines. something very unique that i've noticed I've, i don't think i've seen an anime where um maybe you have but i don't know if you guys have but what anime has your protagonist's biggest strength be his sense of smell I can't think of anything off the top of my Very head. Very unique, like right off the bat. That's yeah. what I really like about it. So Usually far. in these types of anime, the the protagonist has a hidden power that's right. just resting inside of him. And when he's backed into a corner, it just activates like mm. a limiter has been lifted yes, and yes. he's got all of this extra power. This guy yes. has a very, you know, very humble, mm. keen sense of smell that he's kind of I wouldn't, uh, call appropriating. It, I wouldn't call it humble. <laughs> it's I mean, pretty powerful. It's a powerful sense of smell, but it's a humble sense. Right. Like it's just smell. And sure. it's like if you were to have the same sense of smell, you wouldn't be necessarily super powered. You would just have to kind of adapt and appropriate it to the uses just like Tanjiro is doing in this Ooh, anime. Very well said. The second thing that really stood out to me is the action. Oh mm -hmm. my goodness. I. I did not think that it was going to get this good. Like I, I got up to episode three, episode four, I was like, all right, cool. The unique brush strokes, the calligraphy style. That's really cool. That's very unique on its own. But I was not expecting just how amazing the action gets heated up when you get up to like episode eight, all the way up to episode 10. I was like sitting there watching you. I was like, yo, we got to capture that. It was like, 
Whoa, that was awesome. Absolutely. And I am up to the current episode, episode 22. I was just thrilled and excited to, to let him see some of the stuff that I've been kind of keeping within myself before I was introducing him to this anime. I was yeah, just it's like, gotta be like, wait for it, wait for it. I, I can't, I could not believe it. It was just so magical, very artistic, very creative. Yes, uh, and it it's a very seamless blend, right? Yeah, it was, it was so smooth. Classic 3D. Yeah, it was so smooth. The combination of, cell, I don't know, cell shading 3D and traditional animation yes. was just so captivating, so breathtaking. I don't know how many times I've said that word so far, but breathtaking again. <laughs> it's a very seamless uh, integration or implementation of 2D and 3D. Mm. You've got this nice paint painting like backdrop with uh, a, a 3D Tanjiro who's doing some crazy parkour moves and and dodging abilities and stuff. It just looks very mm. fluid. Very breathtaking. <laughs> <laughs> and if you've gone as far as I have at episode 22, you know exactly what I'm going to be talking about right now. The animation for one of the scenes that involves dancing out of this world. Oh my goodness. I need to see it all. Stop teasing it. <laughs> try, please try not to spoil it for me in the comment section below. Well, maybe by the time you leave your comments, I have seen all the episodes and have caught up. Mm -hmm. So please, uh, or yeah. What a, yeah. <laughs> so there's this unique dynamic happening between Tanjiro mm. and Nezuko that makes their relationship uh, very, very interesting, very, very unique. Mm. And it also kind of draws you to them almost in a mo more relatable way. Yes. The family aspect, obviously. Mm. But, you know, the, the dynamic between him being a human, her being a demon and how different she is from the demons that Ooh. the world knows yes it's a mystery in and of itself yeah i mean i love it like it's it's what we've suggested in the beginning of this video right it's more than just a cool title you hear demon slayer it's like oh my god that means that must be so amazing it's got to be just, just this really cool hero that's like got all these muscles and mm -hmm. like all he's just a badass hero and he'll just take down all the demons let's go watch this anime but in the purest sense of it all there's such there's this purity between Tanjiro and Nezuko. Yes. And throughout the whole show, there's this theme, there's this reoccurring theme where they long for justice, but it's not vengeance. You know, there is yeah. empathy and then there is um, this humanity that is involved in their story. Yeah, especially when he undergoes training, um, Rokodaki, uh, the teacher, you know, makes this point that he's not ready. Mm. You know, he, he still has empathy for these mm. people. He has no resolve to kill them. Right, so he's right. not like a typical demon slayer. Exactly. But you know, that's what makes him obviously relatable, but more unique than mm. those who came before him. So we'll, you know, come across him feeling sorry or feeling sympathy for these demons that he's slaying, who obviously were humans in their past life. Right. Um, but, you know, it's him that's grasping at this past life. And he's showing remorse, he's showing them the kindness mm. that they weren't shown, or the kindness that they were missing ever since they were turned into a demon. I think that's where it really shines the most. Not only does it have its own unique style, but it has this level of compassion throughout the whole show that makes you that makes it really relatable. It makes you yeah. want to root for Tanjiro and Kezuko, Nezuko. It also <laughs> kind of makes you feel sorry and right. pitiful for the demons. I mean, obviously, when you first meet these demons and he's fighting them, he's like, oh, kick their ass, right, you know, right. slay them. Mm -hmm. But, you know, they then they'll switch they'll switch it up a little bit and they'll show the, the backstory, at least a little bit of the yeah. backstory of that demon. And then you realize they had a tragic life or they were very, very innocent before they turned into a demon. Yes. So you're kind of like, oh man, that was awesome. He just slayed that demon, but damn, that sucks. You know? <laughs> so yeah. that'll be a recurring mm -hmm. theme in this anime. Also, this is probably the first anime where my favorite character in the entire anime does not speak one word. <laughs> <laughs> and that is Nezuko. She's adorable. She yes. has these, these like, she pantomimes and she makes these, <gasps> all these noises that's yeah, yeah. just like, oh my gosh, you know, she's she so is, cute. She is adorable. She's cute. And um, 
It, it's, I'm pretty it's, sure she's the she's she's everyone's favorite character in this anime. Leave uh, it in the comment section down below. Yeah, I would have to say Tanjiro is my favorite character. He's a close second for but, me. Yeah, I mean, I do agree. Nezuko is very cute. She's very adorable. She she kind of makes their dynamic like a complete package. Yeah, you know, there's the, there's obviously a juxtaposition there, right? He's getting strong as a demon slayer. She's getting strong as a demon. But you know, it's her adorable nature that just like that just like draws you in, you know? Mm. Leave it in the comment section down below. <laughs> Let me know if Nezuko is your favorite character in Demon Slayer or if it's Tanjiro. Tanjiro. Thank you so much for joining us in this video. As always, leave your comments in the section below, leave a like, subscribe to our channel if you have not already, and then we'll see you next time.